I think one of the challenges of Mexitant as a process has to be the intensity of making Mexitants. It is by nature uh, a slow and a gradual process. And we always say when we're advertising classes that a modicum of patience is required. And I think there's an element of truth in that. One has to be a very patient person to make Mexitants. For me, another one of the challenges has to be, because it is an intense and therefore a relatively small scale process, I do want to work on a larger scale. And Mexitants can be maybe three, four inches in size. But I generally jump up in scale to anything, you know, maybe up to, you know, 24, 30 mm -hmm. inches or thereabouts in scale. And that could entail nine, ten months work just rocking the plate before we even start drawing. Because Mexican is such an intense process, it takes a long time to build up experience uh, and knowledge to, to really get your head around what uh, Mexican is all about. And I would say to people who are maybe starting or thinking about doing Mexican, if you want advice, I mean, the first thing is to bear in mind you need patience, but also look, have fun with Mexican. Mastering the techniques is important, but you have to enjoy what you're doing. I would also say, from a technical point of view, decide your light source, and that can have a huge impact on you making choices in the process. Deciding where your light is coming from and how it's lighting the subject that you are portraying in your meditants is actually very important. The Mexican process is unique and it has a direct bearing on the imagery that I create for Mexican. If you look at the other images I make in different media, etching for example, you start with a white background, you're making dark marks on an etching plate, but with Mexican, having spent weeks, months rocking a plate, you start with a jet black background. And what you are doing is bringing the image out of darkness into the light. And that's why it's important to have decided your light source. And I frequently choose a light source that's pitched high and it's a very dramatic lighting to the, the images that I put into Mexitans. There are obviously crossovers between my Mexitan printmaking, my etching and my digital printmaking, and images translate in some respects from one media and feed it to another media. But Mexican being such a unique process, it definitely governs what I do for that particular technique.